The New England Teamsters Pension Fund is getting a major cash infusion from the American Rescue Plan Act, $5.7 billion to guarantee the retirements of more than 72,000 union members. So when I get those calls, I'm going to be able to tell them, don't worry, we're fine for a long time to come. The Teamsters covered by this spending include freight drivers, warehouse, package delivery, brewery, and bakery workers. The White House ARPA coordinator says they were facing pension cuts of 50 to 75 percent. So to know this is restored means you know, people are going to be able to, you know, age where they want, in the home, in the neighborhood they want, and again, be a help to their kids and grandkids. Officials say the New England Teamsters are getting the second largest award to date under this program. Multi-employer pension funds had been experiencing some challenges as um, companies consolidated, as um, companies went out of business. Um, all of those pension funds weren't always managed as well as they should be, and um, so as part of the American Rescue Plan, plan. We said that's not right for people who paid into their pensions. Federal spending is always an issue in an election year and Senator Maggie Hassan tells us more bipartisan work needs to be done to address inflation. But she contends this multi-billion dollar appropriation goes to the core value of the rescue plan, which she says was about helping people through the waves of economic uncertainty caused by the pandemic. And in this case, uh, addressing a long overdue issue, which is making sure, again, that people who had worked hard, done the responsible thing, invested in a pension, would see the return on that investment as they had been promised. Adam Sexton, WMUR News 9.